In first grade, in science, we studied our solar system, and then in our language arts program, we were studying goods and services. So we thought we would make an activity that would extend their learning, and so we gave them a challenge to build a robot, and the robot would have to do something that would provide a good or a service to help our world. So the children would have to be able to explain what their robot could do and come up with what kind of attachments or parts it would have on the actual robot. The first step in this process was to create a blueprint to help them visualize their creation. They came up with a service that it would provide and then the special name for their robot to go with it. And then they began constructing their robots out of recycled boxes and other materials such as paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls. And then when they were completed, they painted a white base coat over the robots to cover all the words and the pictures that were on the boxes. The next step was to choose the colors they wanted to paint their robot and to add various designs. And so they had a choice of materials to use to decorate the robot. And so they could choose foil or buttons or pipe cleaners, little pom-poms or felts, and even put eyes on their robot. Some of them had one eye, some had three. After the robot was built, then they would collaborate with each other to kind of fine tune the service that their robot would provide. They talked about their prototype and what it would do, and so we really tried to get them to focus on one aspect. If it picked up trash, some of them picked up trash in the ocean, some of them recycled trash. So they were different in that way that even if they picked up trash, they focused on one aspect of doing that. And then they planned their writing, and then after they had a good plan, they talked about it, they filled in their web map to plan out their writing, then they were ready to write the rough draft. And so after the rough draft, they met with me and we would talk about correct spelling and how to make their writing stronger, adding more details and when to do that. And when they were finished and once they checked it themselves, then they were ready to finish the very last step. The last step was editing their writing to create their final draft. So at the very end, we shared our writing. Um, each student read it and shared it with the whole class and we celebrated each piece of finished writing and they got to share what the robot did and that was it. Do you want to hear about my robot? He goes to the beach and picks up trash. He can fly and scoop down to grab trash. I hope you liked my robot. My robot prototype is called Bob. He helps you fix your car and it will look brand new. My robot can fix your car super fast. My robot can change your tire super fast. He gets tools from the store. You should have Bob at your house. Do you want to hear about my robot, Mateo? My robot helps scientists. It also goes to fight in the Navy. The scientist one is the same one. My robot prototype is called Animal Helper. It also goes to space to the newly discovered planet Animal. Vets buy this Animal Helper to help you do their job. Animal Helper is amazing to help your pet. My robot's name is Beach Cleaner because it cleans the beach. My robot picks up trash and puts little animals where they belong. My robot has a bin to keep trash in it. It also has a secret compartment. My robot does a lot of good things in the community. My robot's job is finding lost pets. His tummy screen finds the way. My robot helps people that are sad because they lost their puppies. My robot prototype is called Spacebot. It goes on missions. The missions are to go in space, take samples, and take pictures to bring back to Earth. Spacebot will help us learn more about space. This robot prototype is called Excalius. The robot fixes Beyblades. It also battles with its battle fusions. After it fixes the Beyblade, it tests the Beyblade out. You should get Excalibur so your Beyblade will get fixed fast. My robot prototype is called Robo. It makes money for people. If you want to go to Disneyland, but you don't have enough money, you can ask the robot for more money. Also, my robot can change $1 into $2 if two kids each want $1. This is the perfect robot for you. 
My robot is called Style Girl. Style Girl can fix hair. First, Style Girl combs people's hair. Next, she curls hair. She curls hair so good she wants to go to a party. Last, she can do nails. Style Girl can make you look good for any party. Colors is the name of my robot. My robot is purple, red, silver, and blue. My robot picks up trash to make the earth clean. My robot also makes money so people aren't poor. I like my robot because it's colorful. My color of my robot is blue, yellow, gray. He helps a lot. I think my robot is the best because he helps people. So really, it was to extend their learning to match the standards of our regular program. So taking the pieces of language arts and science and putting them together so that they could really understand what we had been studying. The real creativity, once you let them go and take off, you have guidelines, but really let them think about what their robot really could do and the possibilities were endless so the creativity was amazing and I really loved when they would share their ideas and ask each other questions to enhance their writing. They worked really hard on that so the kids were really good at asking those questions and then answering them and furthering their thinking and that was really neat to see. So the fun thing also this year that was really neat, our whole grade level did this project together with all the parents and we set the parents up outside and there was a parent volunteer from each class and I hope they had a fun time building the robots with the kids. So it was a neat project across the entire grade level to have all the classes coming together to do this and that was really enjoyable for all of us. Our team hopes that the children learned a lot with this STEAM project and had fun sharing ideas and creating and imagining ways to help our world. 